I will be showing you how to go from this to this. I will be comparing and benchmarking each setting for graphics and performance differences and giving you my optimized settings. But first, let me show you my findings and notes before we begin with the comparisons. This game has a super obvious and annoying ghosting issue when using native TAA. However, when upscaling from any of the options, this issue is greatly minimized. But as we'll see later on, one of the upscalers handles this issue the best. I also found out that this game, weirdly, does not have an option for texture quality or resolution. Let's start with the comparisons, starting with motion blur. Having motion blur on has this weird shimmering effect on the character's hair when in motion, while disabling motion blur almost gets rid of this issue entirely, which is a shame because this game has a decent looking motion blur. As you can see, having no upscaling option which uses TAA has the ghosting issue that I talked about earlier, while using DLAA is the best option to get rid of this issue, while using DLSS quality is almost as good looking as DLAA while giving you a huge performance increase. Using anything other than DLSS or DLAA has more noticeable ghosting. As for the view distance setting, I tested it in multiple areas and I still couldn't find any difference, either in image quality or performance.
using my optimized settings, we can see that this game, other than using the upscaling option, is not very scalable. Each setting has a very minimal increase in performance, and the number of available settings to change is quite low. But this is pretty good for what we have. My CPU was encountering a slight CPU bottleneck using my optimized settings, which tells us that this game is surprisingly very CPU heavy, or that it doesn't really utilize the CPU that well. Probably the latter. I went from averaging over 30 FPS to averaging over 60 FPS. What about you?